When was the last time you tested your well? Did you know that leading health authorities recommend testing your well two times per year for bacteria, like fecal coliforms, and every three years for contaminants like chemicals and heavy metals? Did you also know that private well testing kits and analysis are completely free in Alberta and many other places? Don't feel badly if you didn't know, because most people don't. It's important to keep up with well testing, especially if this is your primary drinking water source. Today, we'll go through how to test your well, and I get to show you just how easy it is to take this positive action for the health of you and your family. Step one for me involved going to my county's health center and asking for well testing kits. I didn't even have to provide an address when I went in. They handed them right over. Now that I have my kits, I need to follow the provided instructions to collect samples, then drop them off again. I was advised to collect my samples in the same day that I dropped them off to ensure accuracy. For my contaminant test, I'll locate a tap that gets well water without any treatment. Ideally, this would be a tap directly from my well, but since my old well makes this difficult, I know that my outside tap can fit this need. For my bacteria test, I was advised to use my kitchen sink. It's okay if this sample has gone through a water treatment system. I will remove any attachments on the faucet before beginning. Then, the tap must run for 5 minutes before collecting a sample of water in order to flush it out. I also want to disinfect the tap prior to taking any samples. I'm using a medical grade disinfectant wipe, but a simple bleach solution will work well too. I'm going to wash my hands before touching my bottle. Now, making sure not to touch the mouth or inner rim of my bottle, I can collect the water sample and immediately seal my bottle back up. To ensure the quality of my results, it's important not to give any external potential contaminants the chance to get inside the bottle. I'm nearly done and just have to fill out a requisition form before I drop the sample off for lab analysis. I need to know the ID of my well and some other related information. Fortunately, I can easily access this information through the Alberta Well Information Database. Now, I can drop off my sample at the same place I picked it up. My contaminant test results will be back in six weeks and my bacteria test results will be back later this week. Before you go, here are some important notes to follow throughout this process. Do not open the sample bottle until you're ready to collect your sample. Rinse the sample bottle. Let water overflow or splash down the side of the bottle. Put the bottle cap on another surface. Touch the inside of the cap, mouth, or neck of the bottle. Collect samples from a garden hose or other places that might be dirty. Wait long after collecting your sample before dropping it off again. Bacterial samples won't even be analyzed if they're not submitted the same day they are taken. It took exactly three weeks to receive back my chemical test results. To better interpret the results, I found some tools and resources, which will be linked in the description of this video. The most helpful of these tools is the Rural Water Quality Information Tool, which allows you to input all of your test results and get an assessment on the safety of your water. That's all it takes to test your well and ensure you have safe drinking water. If you have any questions at all, feel free to let us know.